Still no official cause of death for Whitney Houston. It will be a delicate process made that much more difficult because of the victim, superstar Whitney Houston. Joining me right now here in Atlanta, Mike Brooks, a law enforcement analyst for HLN and In Session. So give me an idea here. Uh, L.A. County, Beverly Hills, right. they're used to investigations involving big names, bigger than life names. Sure. But what makes it very complicated is not only is it a delicate investigation in and of itself, it's the cause of death, but because it involves a big name, because it involves a place where there, an, there were an awful lot of people, right. was there anything that struck you as unusual in the beginning stages of this investigation thus far? No, the, the only thing that struck me as kind of unusual is how quickly they said, and they pronounced her from the time that the units got there, which says to me, as a former investigator, Fred, that there were signs that there was no way that they were going to revive her, and they, they were probably talking to the doctors at back at the emergency room saying, look, we've done this, we've done that, we've tried this resuscitation process, and nothing is working, which says to me that she, that she may have been dead for a while. What's interesting also, we also understand um, unconformed sources saying that Bobby Christina, the daughter of Whitney Houston, right tried to get to the hotel, tried to get to the room where the body of Whitney Houston was. We understand that she was turned away. And now we're also getting new information, this being confirmed by CNN, that Bobby Christina has now been taken to the hospital herself. Mm. We don't know the details of that, but apparently uh, she has been rushed to the hospital uh, now, barely barely 24 hours after her mother was declared right. dead. We understand sources are telling us that the fire department, is that right? Um, my producer there, Margie? Fire department uh, making sure that she got to that hospital safely. Not, not sure which hospital or what the circumstances right. are, but this, this investigation just of the mother's death is hard enough. And, and now it looks like they're, it may be further complicated by uh, by this extension. Well, yeah, I'm sure of the, the amount of suffering that she's been going through over in the last 24 hours, hearing that her mother had died. But but there's a lot of questions that remain, and this is the cause and manner. And investigators, a lot of things they're going to, you know, a lot of people are also asking, well, why was the body there at the hotel room for such a long time? Once almost they nine hours. Almost nine hours. But there's no hurry. As an investigator, there's no hurry to take the body. If, if they pronounced her there, then they were going. They'll go ahead and conduct a thorough death investigation because that's what it is right now. Because we can't say it's a homicide investigation, suicide. We don't know the manner of death and the cause. But one of the other things they're going to look at, Fred, the last 24 hours of her life, the last hours of her life, trying to put together a timeline. Mm -hmm. How are they going to do that? They're going to take a look at video surveillance around that hotel. They're also going to take a look Whether at... Whether it be in the hallway of where her room the was, hallway, elevator, elevator, lobby. Pool area, lobby area, bar area, to find out who, who she was with, who did she talk to, what was her frame of state of mind, uh, and what else was found there in the room. Also, who was the last person to come in and out of her room? And they'll be able to tell that because the, co the cards you have, every time you go in and out of the room with one of those electronic cards, there's a record of that. And it's conceivable that a number of people had rooms, I mean, you know, keys to her room sure. because she likely had an entourage of people who were dressing her, makeup, right. hair, since she was going to be going to a pre-Grammy event later on that evening. Right, and there's some other things to investigate. There's, there's reports that there was a record executive who was staying in the room above her, and she, around 3.30, heard two large bangs. Now, was this out of Whitney Houston's room? Uh, there's all kinds of speculation of what it could have been. And now we're finding out uh, that it most likely was she was found in the tub. There might have been some, some uh, prescription medication, some other things there in the room. And this is why you, you might not get an official cause of death for quite some time. Because as they do the autopsy, whether it's done today or tomorrow, they're going to send out, uh, they're going to do tests toxicology tests, those take time. If you recall back in 2009 when Michael Jackson died, it took the L.A. coroner almost three months to make an official cause yeah, You really of are death. reminding us of that, that it wasn't immediate, but no. I did not recall that it took yeah. that long. It was three almost months. three months. And it, there's, no, there's no rush. They want to make sure they get it right. Mm -hmm. And, you know, a lot of people, though, Fred, have questions they want to know because yeah. she was such an icon but it's going to take some time and we might not we might hear a preliminary autopsy but one of the other things that the beverly hills police were saying there was no obvious sign of criminal intent well, that's that they could see and in the they room were quick to say that just yes. hours just hours exactly. after confirming her death